Welcome to the sixth video of our suite of eight mini videos to support you through the data requirements needed to run the local housing market assessment tool, referred to as LHMA in this video. Please use these as reference resources prior to and as you populate the LHMA tool. You will need to have populated your housing market areas as shown in video one before starting this task. This video focuses on the sheets named existing and met need and the social housing split by bedrooms, both in section two of the tool. Moving to existing and met need, firstly, you will provide data for the households in existing and met need. The tool assumes this need will be met over the first five years of the LHMA period. The existing unmet need, together with a proportion of households from the newly arising as shown in video 2, provides the additional number of households in need of affordable housing. Affordable housing covers social rent, intermediate rent and low cost home ownership. You will need to input data for each of your housing market areas and by number of bedrooms ranging from one bedroom to four or more bedrooms. Within each of these, you will need to provide five data items. One, concealed and overcrowded households. For example, a concealed family is a young couple living with parents in an overcrowded household, or could be a home that has fewer bedrooms than the family needs to avoid undesirable sharing based on the age and sex of household members. Two, homeless households and temporary accommodation. These include those in emergency or interim accommodation, as well as those sleeping rough and people who are hidden homeless, such as sofa surfing or staying with friends or family with no right to occupy. Three, other social housing. For example, those on the waiting list who are currently unsuitably housed and do not fall into categories one and two, but their needs are unable to be met at the date of assessment. Take care not to double count the households in the other category with those in categories one and two. Four, intermediate rents and five, low cost home ownership. It is possible that the numbers for intermediate housing within your local authority could be small. You can find full definitions within the glossary of terms in the LHMA guidance or tool. Your key data source should be your local housing registers. It is important that you work with your homeless prevention team who will be able to provide up-to-date information to support your assessment. Move into social housing split by bedrooms. Here the tool determines the overall social rent households by number of bedrooms. This is done by bringing together the newly arising need that has been allocated to social rent and the existing unmet need. And this data is presented in table 27 which will only be populated when all the data inputs as discussed in this video and the earlier ones are complete. The first part of table 27 shows by the number of bedrooms, the percentage split of the newly arising need allocated as social rent across the housing market areas. Table 28 allows you to have a different percentage split reflecting any housing strategies you may have in place. If you prefer to use this data, then you need to select table 28 from the drop down list here. When complete, you can tick the appropriate boxes on the front page of section two, and that concludes the existing unmet need data requirements and the social housing split by number of bedrooms. For further information, you can consult the LHMA guidance or email Welsh Government at afdl-lhma at gov.wales.